This guy is uh, named Slug. Slug created Space War. If you go to the Computer History Museum on most weekends, Slug will come and kick your ass on the machine behind him, which is the machine that Space War was invented on in 1951. 61, my apologies. So you can go there in 1961, and the guy who invented that computer history will come and kick your ass. This is very important because that is how constricted our online history is. Like the web is this little, you know, when I say it, the web is an eye blink in the history of humanity, right? It's like 5,000 years from like, oh my God, a rock to Kim Kardashian, and then it's, it's like one millisecond to this, right? And, and, and also, I, for some people who care, there's no hover hand. I touched him. I touched the man. I love him. Again, life is a lossy format, but software is not quite a lossy format. It likes to be completely together. And that's where luck comes in. So there's a thing I've been working on for about three years. This is what I started working on. When Brewster hired me, one of the things he said to me was, I would like for you, you know, we've been doing pretty good with the web. We've been doing okay with the web. We've been doing pretty good with books. We're actually doing good with music. We have a lot of music. Uh, we have a whole lot of movies. But what about software? How do we do things with software? And the reason that movies and music persist is because we can play them. And not only can we play them, but we can play them like nothing. Like if I'm like, oh God, listen to how terrible this band is, the time from, man, what are you talking about to, you're right, they suck, can be like five seconds. Right? That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Like, you forget it. Like, oh my God, look what this cat is doing on top of riding this, this, this Roomba. Boom! You're looking at cat on Roomba. The world's a little dumber, but you did it. Two seconds. And so, why don't we have that with software? This is the moment when my mind got blown. Right? This is a game called um, uh, Smurf Rescue from ColecoVision. Right? Let's go back to it. And in it, you pilot a Smurf. He has to jump over those things and meet Smurfette. It's very simple. It's for the ColecoVision. But over the course of two and a half years, we got it to run in a browser in JavaScript. And here's the thing about that. Why, like, first of all, why would you do that abomination against all of man and lord and, oh, anyway, so the thing is, is that right now, the way to get to everybody is the web. The way that we get there is using a browser. And the thing in browsers that has not been destroyed by Larry Ellison is JavaScript, right? JavaScript's in everything, like it or not. And technology has been done to turn JavaScript into the end run for a compiler. Without going into the full technical details, because they're all up there, the point is we were able to take a emulator called MESS, the multi-emulator super system that has 1,600 platforms, uh, everything from Gen the Sega Genesis and 2600 to the ColecoVision, and be able to make it play stuff in your browser basically in full speed. The first time we got it running, it ran at 14% speed. We had it in 70% speed within two weeks. We had 24 systems running at 100% speed, and it's gone on like that, right? Um, we have been able to do all these different systems. Um, we have old stuff from Atari. All these are running in JavaScript. Here's a, a, a chess system from uh, 1979. Here's Spy versus Spy. We've even gotten to the point, you know, that's... That's neat, and it's up there. If you go to archive.org, go to software, boom, you can say to somebody, I can't believe someone made a game about this. There it is. Okay. So from there, it gets really weird and scary. Because now, once we've been able to make a machine run in a machine, where do you go from there? Well, um, we have something I call the emularity. This is uh, Windows running inside of a browser. Um, and we actually have it booting up. So that's JavaScript. And we've actually gotten PPP to work so that the browser can connect through PPP out of the browser into the internet. So it's connecting to textfiles.com using the Mosaic, the, uh, the Mosaic browser um, and is able to connect. So it's a 1994 browser inside of a 1993 operating system that's running inside of a 2015 browser that's running inside of a uh, 2013 operating system, right? We're here now. Um, now, just to be clear, the current internet does not like you. Uh, Whitehouse.gov is like, what are you? Forsooth, I cometh with the Magna Carta to bring it to you. Um, but that's what we, you know, so okay, fine, I understand that. But the best part is, it actually leaves something in the log. So it'll actually say, well, 16-bit Windows 3.1 Netscape 1.0 is stopped by. That'll blow your metrics right the heck out. 